Well, I started to play the guitar because of Andres Segovia, who was uh, you, know, you know, a great legend, of course. Uh, uh, well, Segovia was sort of like a, a godlike figure you know, to, 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 to me, certainly growing up. Um, and uh, I just totally uh, admired and was captivated by the poetry of his playing. And um, he was my, really my, my entree into, into, into music. He was the guy that really uh, captivated me. And, uh, he had such a wonderfully personal and poetic way of, of, of interpreting music. And the other, another great thing about him was that he really played a repertoire that went back into the 1500s and right up into the present day. Of course, he was famous for his aversion to uh, dissonant, uh, non-tonal music. And perhaps, uh, you know, you can, the, a fair criticism could be made of Segovia that he chose to work with composers who had a very conservative uh, musical language. Um, but these days, when you look back at what that one man was able to do, what he was able to inspire, it's, it's absolutely, it remains awe-inspiring and, and, and mind-blowing what he was able to inspire through his charisma and the poetry of his interpretations and the tremendous dedication that he had to his art that uh, you know, ran through his entire life. So apart from Segovia, of course, there were many others who, 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 who I admired enormously, um, many of them not on not on guitar. I mean, I, I, I love the, I still love the playing of, uh, of Fritz Kreisler or David Oistrach or, 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 or of course, uh, Rostropovich was a great hero of mine. And personally, um, in the world of early music, uh, I loved Landowska, and then, of course, I was privileged to study with the great harpsichordist Ralph Kirkpatrick, who became a, 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 a also a, a great mentor to me and and a great inspiration uh, and a sort of a great counterbalance to Segovia's romanticism was the tremendous discipline of, of Kirkpatrick's keyboard playing and the interest in historical performance practice and all of that uh, became also a very important part of my, of my work and so to this day I'm still very very involved with uh, you know, Baroque music uh, especially Scarlatti, Bach and then of course I branched out of it and I got fascinated by Paganini and particularly by the caprices for solo violin which I recorded and continue to study on a regular basis. Um, and so there, really there's so, there's so much um, that has inspired me musically, it would, be, it would be difficult to just mention a few people. But as far as my personal uh, growth, I'd say the two biggest figures were, for me were Segovia and Kirkpatrick. And then I had the privilege of studying with some of the great disciples of Segovia, such as Oscar Guilla from Italy and Alirio Diaz from Venezuela. So, just in general, uh, you know, there were many people who, who served to influence me and to form my musical development. And now I would say that I, I also learn a tremendous amount through the teaching of, of young people. I teach people from so many different countries. Um, and uh, I find that each young person really is, is a universe. Uh, each student is kind of a universe. and, and uh, uh, perhaps each person who's born is, is, is a kind of a universe. And we have so little time in a lifetime to explore these universes that are inside of other people. And uh, I think that's a, a sort of another corollary to being a musician, you know, is this, is this kind of uh, fascination with uh, human psychology as well. And, you know, and, and through other people we come to know ourselves, and through ourselves we come to know other people. So this is a very important uh, source of, 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 of knowledge for me. Uh, just trying to, when I, when I teach young people, I, I don't have uh, a method really at all. I mean, I, there's certain basic technical things, there's certain basic musical things, there's certain basic musicological things that I try to impart. But really, the, 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 deeper, the, deeper, the deeper message and the deeper challenge, the more, the more uh, daunting challenge, is trying to understand the psychology of the of the student and to enable the student to be empowered so that that student can uh, really make the most of his or her possibilities and ultimately uh, what you hope as a teacher is to have been a positive influence on a, on a student's life you know to have been a decisive influence on a student's life in the way I think that Segovia and Kirkpatrick were for me